Hi everyone, Fintan Murphy here from Damson Cloud. This week I wanted to talk about Drive File Stream. The good, the bad, and the ugly. This week I wanted to cover some of the pros and cons about using Google's Drive File Stream tool and the top six things that I think that you should know before you install it for your team. So what is Google's Drive File Stream tool? Well, it's a sync tool designed for enterprises. And one of the key differences with it to other more traditional sync tools is that it streams the documents down onto your computer as you need them. And this means that it doesn't take up as much space as another sync tool might, where very often they will sync all of the documents down onto your computer. There is the ability to do a sort of selective sync where you can right click on a file or a folder and decide if you would like that file or folder to be available offline. But if you don't, the stream tool will actually um, see what files you require and how you're using it on a daily basis and push down that content that you're using more regularly to make it available for you when you need it. Another benefit of the Google Drive file stream tool is that it allows you to sync down team drives. We covered team drives last week and they're Google's enterprise ready folder structures that allow teams to collaborate more easily and give companies back more control. So very often companies want to store data within team drives and the Drive file stream tool allows teams to be able to sync down that data to make it available offline on their desktops or laptops. This next feature isn't released yet, but I think it's a really important update that's coming before the end of the year. And that's the ability to see when other users are editing Microsoft Office documents. When you have a Microsoft Office document, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, and you store it in a folder in the Google Drive file stream tool, the tool will actually notify you when other users are making edits and when it's safe for you to make edits. This is fantastic as it's bringing Google's live collaboration features to the desktop. Okay, so that's the good. What about the bad and the ugly? Well, let's cover the bad first. We've come across with some customers that storing certain files within Google Drive and using the Google Drive file stream tool causes issues. These are files that tend to be database files. So things like Final Cut Pro, 3D rendering files, and the issue comes when you're trying to access those files while the tool is trying to do a sync. Uh, I found with Final Cut Pro, for example, that I actually crashed the application because Final Cut Pro was trying to access the database and the Google Drive file stream tool was trying to sync it. And the only way to stop it was to pause the syncing. The next issue is conflict management. And this is something that's a challenge within any sync tool. Because if you've got two people editing the same file at the same time and the file is held in the cloud or being synced to the cloud, then there's always gonna be a delay. And so you can end up with a scenario where two people have opened the file and edited it, and now you have two different versions of the file. There is no simple way to solve this particular challenge. With the update that I mentioned earlier, Google have solved this for Microsoft Office files, and they're going to be able to notify users when other people are making edits. But for people editing files that aren't Microsoft Office files, such as Adobe or really anything else, you're still going to run into the issue that you could make an edit at the same time as someone else. And your version could be not quite overwritten. Um, your version will still exist, but the primary version that will be there the next time someone opens that file is going to be whoever saved it last. And this is a big challenge with the Google Drive file stream tool as it stands today. So what about the ugly? Well, for me, this has to be the permissions issue that exists within the Google Drive file stream tool. And this is specific to editing team drives. So within team drives, there are currently four permissions. The permissions are changing next month and there is going to be an additional one, but I'm going to base it on the permissions that are available today. The permissions available today are view, comment, edit, and full access. Now the issue is, that an editor of a team drive who can add files and edit files, when, though, when that same editor accesses those same files via the Google Drive file stream tool, they cannot edit them on the desktop. 
So they can't edit a Microsoft Word file, they can't edit an Adobe file, they can't edit any files. That user would need full access in that team drive in order to edit files via the Google Drive file stream tool. This to me doesn't make any sense and I'm not entirely sure why Google have done this. As I said, there's an update coming next month in October to the permissions for team drives that's going to add a contributor to the list of permissions. I'm hoping that with that and with also the uh, conflict management coming for Microsoft files, that this will resolve this particular issue. But at the moment, we, this is all the information that we have. That's it for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Google Drive file stream tool, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'll be updating this video as updates come on the roadmap for the Google Drive file stream tool at the end of the year. If there's anything that you'd like us to cover in our weekly videos, please let us know in the comments below or drop me an email. And remember, hit that subscribe button. See you next week. Thanks. Oh, <laughs>